In this video, you want to come at it from the perspective of an existing customer who's having some sort of problem or challenge and wants to get in touch. Now, this can be a little bit of a, um, it's a tough situation for both the customer and for Retief. Uh, if there's a problem happening, uh, there's a lot of urgency usually. Uh, it may not be Retief's fault, but uh, it's important that Retief is able to allow the customer to easily find what they need to find on the site and get in touch with the right people or else frustration starts to build. And so on the home page, a big goal for us here was to make sure that we gave customers every avenue possible uh, to find what they needed on the site um, and to find a way to get in touch. And so as soon as you land on the home page, you got the phone number up at the top. Um, and then we've got specific call to actions up here. One is need fuel. This is a, a big, big um, ask that was identified uh, by the folks at Retief and by their customers, which is if they're running low on fuel, that's their business that uh, is going to be cost operating hours, um, and, that's, and that's money at the end of the day. I mean, a lot of these companies rely on their equipment to be fueled up. And so this call to action at the top is key. It takes it to a similar page as the contact us now, but we really want to make sure that the customer never has to wonder if they're going to the right place. And so having multiple pathways, particularly when something's this important, um, is okay uh, to add this, this additional one for need fuel because it is so vital to customers and there's so many that uh, run into this challenge of running low on fuel and needing to get in touch with someone right away to, to help fix the problem. Another would be checking tank levels. Um, and uh, you can see as you move over here to the right, uh, there's a way to chat. So different customers are gonna have different methods or preferences on getting in touch. And so we try and think about what are the reasons someone would wanna get in touch and then what would be the way they would wanna communicate uh, with the folks at Retief um, in those situations. So if I have to take client calls all day and I'm working in an office, let's say I'm a dispatcher, uh, and I need, but I also need to get in touch with the folks at Retief. I'm not necessarily going to want to be on the phone talking with them. And so chat in this instance is going to be a great method or filling out a form, um, depending on the level of urgency. If I'm driving down the street, chat's not really going to be an option. If I'm driving to a uh, customer site and I need to get in touch with Retief, the phone number might be the best way. And on mobile and on desktop, this number's clickable. So Rather than having to you know, copy and paste the number in, it's click and call. Um, and then of course the form for, for less urgent issues, for off hours issues, utilizing the form to uh, let Retief know that there's an issue or question or concern uh, is a great way um, for the customer to be able to, to get in touch. And so again, you see it takes them right to the contact page and still even on this page, we wanna give people the option of Again, chatting, sending a form submit, or giving a call. And in addition, you've got social up here in the top right. There are folks who prefer to use social uh, media as a way of getting in touch. Um, we certainly want to provide that avenue as well. And that is the pathway for customers uh, who are interested in getting in touch.